Hey there YouTube fans, AC Productions here. Today I'm going to be showing you on how to properly set up your LED kit. Now as you can see I have a Bluetooth controller which is right here, a LED driver, a LED halo, and a frosted uh, circle ring. So I'm going to be showing you in the video here how to connect properly connect everything and a little bit of some of the, the flaws with the, this setup, mainly the driver. Alright, so let's get to it. So this setup is going to be mainly for doing um, custom headlighting and you'll be and with the headlighting you're going to be using uh, halos uh, which are going to be these uh, circle LEDs. Now the frosted ring would actually go over the halo ring as you can see right over here and cover it which will allow it, I'll show you in a second here, allowing the color to be more blended all together instead of having the little dots showing. Alright so let's get started on actually connecting everything. So you got your Bluetooth controller which is right here. It's going to have your um, positive cable which is going to be right over here, right here. It and even actually says over here power positive so you can't get confused on what it is plus it's red. And then you also got your negative cable, which is right over here. I already got my, my uh, power leads are uh, already connected to this uh, to light it up. And uh, you got your fuse in, in line right there. All right, so I brighten it up a little bit so you guys can see a little better. And here's your fuse. All right, so this kit, as you can see, says RGB slash RGBW. Now what that stands for is red, green, blue, red, green, blue, and white. There is going to be a, a small um, QR code right here. All right, guys, it seems like the camera's having a hard time to actually focus on this uh, little QR code, which is right over here. But when you get it, you're going to use your cell phone. You're going to use a QR code reader on, the, on your cell phone, and you're going to scan this code. Now, that code is actually going to get you straight to the app. You're going to download the app. So once you get the app already downloaded onto, onto your phone, then, we're, then you could actually start using the controller. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, con connect the controller. So what you're gonna do right now is you're gonna grab your end of your controller, which is right over here with the cable. It has a female connector. Uh, also, the, it comes with this uh, splitter, so you could allow it to connect up to four uh, halos. And you're gonna go ahead and it has the male plug and go ahead and plug it in over here. Once you plug it in through there, then you're gonna go ahead and connect your LED driver. I'm gonna connect the LED driver for now, but I'm gonna show you the flaw that's with the LED driver. Hopefully by time you guys uh, uh, order this uh, the flaw would be already uh, fixed and you won't have this issue all right so for the LED driver let me move this to the side LED driver you're gonna see it's gonna be having a male connector and a female connector I'm gonna grab your splitter right here and you're gonna connect the male end to the female end connect it in like so once you do that now you're gonna grab the female end of the driver side and you're going to connect your halo male end to it like so, you can hear that little click. All right, so pretty much everything, I know it looks like a big mess here, but now everything is connected. Now, let me show you real quickly the defect that's with the LED driver. If you guys are wondering what uh, millimeter size this is, the 80 millimeter uh, halo. All right, so now we have everything connected. We're gonna go to our phone and we're going to select the app, which is called Magic LED version two. I'll put an image here on the corner of how the app looks like. All right, we're gonna go ahead and select it. Once we select it, it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the lights. Uh, I was probably having a hard time with too much lighting over here. All right, so now that it's focused, here's the, the opening of the app. Now, when you go to select the power on, it turns on, as you can see. Sometimes if you select uh, power on, and even though this part's lit, if it doesn't light up your halo, just move your finger around the color wheel circle and it'll turn on the, the system. All right, so what I mean with the flaw with the driver over here is that if you select, go to red, if you select blue, I'm gonna do it real quick, but what's gonna happen when I select blue, it's gonna turn off. When it turns off, I'm gonna go back to red because if I leave it off, it actually is going to uh, make this uh, controller defective and ruin it. So you definitely don't want that but so the, i'm going to show you this right now as you can see it just it just flashed and turned off that's a defect on this driver it shouldn't do that uh, you, you should be able to select blue and it should stay on blue if you guys buy the kit and you install the driver and you notice that that flash comes out when you select blue go ahead and select the color right away because you don't want to leave it there it will damage the system all right so i'm going to go ahead and uh, turn off the system and i'm going to show you the other way of connecting it and still getting the functions uh, out of the app all right so now we're going to go ahead and we are going to uh disconnect our halo which is right here Let's go ahead and disconnect that we're we're disconnecting our driver from our system here unplug that all right so here is a driver we're going to go ahead and put it off to the side all right so now we got our our splitter here let's go ahead and, and connect our halo directly to the splitter go ahead and connect it like so all right so now it is co co uh, connected to, uh, directly to the system i'm going to go ahead and turn off the light and then we're going to go ahead and turn on the system all right so let's go ahead and turn on the system just go ahead and press the button over here and there you go 
and holy moly that thing is bright now like i said it shows all the little dots let me go ahead and just lower it a little bit so you guys can see the little dots a little bit better because on the camera it's not coming out so well okay as you can see you can see all the little dots now if you like that dot look perfectly fine nothing wrong with that you know go ahead and rock it out with the dot look but if you want the halo circle to be a little bit more fluent in the color i would suggest getting this frosted halo ring now getting the frosted halo i'm gonna go ahead and just put it right over it right about there now you can see it's a more unified color you know without the dot look pretty much now if i were to put the light a little bit more brighter you're gonna see how bright and there you go so you control the brightness here at the bottom All right, so let's uh now that uh, you have everything already connected you have a few uh options down here we'll kind of go through it in this video uh real quickly I'm not going to spend too much time on it uh that's for you guys to enjoy once you get your kit all right so let's go through the options so at the front page you got your color wheel so when you just move your finger around it's going to change the color of your halo ring back there let's go ahead we got red we got our presets red blue without the driver it actually stays blue we got the kind of whitish green and a yellow all right so next we got is warm which i can't figure out warm why would it use yellow uh but then somehow the led is white i'm not sure and i don't get that part next we got is function which is going to give you 20 different modes when you select it not going to go through all of them but uh, you got the crossfade which kind of cycles through all the colors and then the last one is a seven color jump kind of just cycles through all of them next we got disco now if you activate your microphone when you talk it kind of just cycles with the your voice and as you could see it's going with my voice next you got custom where you could just you know make your own selection with the color wheel you could do the gradual jump strobe you could pretty much customize it after that we got music so if you have music on your phone Alrighty, so and then we got the camera options. So if you take a picture of an item with like a color, say you take a, a picture of a, a green leaf or something like that, the color will translate to the LED and it'll mimic that color. Or if you took a picture of a red duffel bag or anything of that nature, whatever you take a picture of, it'll try to replicate it into the LED color. Alright, so and then you got this uh, section. You got coral when you select it. It's like a fiery orange, yellow, dusk, and this one. You could also select new scene. If you select new scene, you see a part of menu that says take photo or choose a photo. Let's go ahead and choose a photo. Go ahead and select the picture of a truck I took. And uh, once you select the picture, you can move it around. So move it up to there and then select choose. Once you do that, you're gonna see this like little um, silhouette uh, light bulb it looks like. Move that around and as you move it around, it kind of tries to replicate those colors uh, onto the LED ring. Go ahead, let me try to get up to the red up here, see if it gets it. A bit more right there. As you can see, I have the little thing onto the red uh, line over here, and it's replicating that red. Pretty cool option. Then I guess over here, you could dim it to down, or you could dim it up, you know, try to get the, the color as true as possible. That's a pretty cool option. You could also, if you if you um, want to save that color, you could go ahead and press save. If not, just go ahead and cancel, and it'll just, it won't be there. But if you do save it, it'll go on to this little menu section here. And then after that, that's pretty much it. That's all the options. Also, if you look up here, you got a little ti a little alarm. So if you were to, huh, I could see my camera there. So if you have the, if you want to set an alarm, press the alarm, and then you could put a timer or whatever uh, to the system. And I'm guessing it'll probably flash or light or whatever uh, when the alarm comes on. So that's pretty much all the functions of the Bluetooth app. For this kit if you guys found this video helpful please smash that like button if you haven't yet subscribed don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell that way you guys are up to date with my latest videos if you'd like to see more of this type of content please leave let, let me know in the comments below if you guys dislike the video smash the dislike button let me know in the comments below on what you disliked about the video if you know anyone else that's looking to do something like this or has, a, a, you know, just got a kit and doesn't know how to wire it and it looks similar to this one, share my video because it, it may help them out in actually putting their LED kit together. And thank you for watching.